One, two, three. What's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome back. Back. back to another video. Hey, what's good? Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, first off, who is she? What? Your girl finally dyed her hair. Uh, who am I? Do I look different? Yeah. Christian woke up from his nap. He's like, Mom, you look so pretty. It's like, oh, you're melting my heart. We'll kind of, uh, we'll kind of get into a little. You're melting my heart off. <laughs> a little chit chat about my hair because it's <laughs> kind of like a disaster. I had red hair, what was it, two summers ago, and I loved it. My hair was a lot longer and thicker than it is now. Uh, within the past year, I've got tape and extensions, and when I took those out, it left my hair so, so, so thin. So in a lot of video of my videos and Instagram pics, I do wear extensions because that's just how I feel most confident and think, you know, that I look a little better. Uh, so I have no extensions in right now, obviously. I can only dye like my hair. So this is the only hair I got. So it's really thin on the ends, but I'm doing some deep conditioning and I actually just started using Monet products to uh, thicken up my hair. But obviously, <laughs> smile, we're gonna tell them in, in a second about you know what. Um, so obviously the like roots of my hair took really well, but there's this patch in the middle that stayed super dark That just didn't take any of the color So it kind of goes like a really pretty red into brown into like this weird color at the bottom So I'm either gonna have to dye it again tomorrow and see if I can get all the layers to match or I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it if it's all like off toned, you know But yeah, I really wanted to order some magenta extensions to go along with this as well uh, but I found on Bellamy <laughs> They had some like red hot ones, which were way too hot. And then they had some really dark red ones. So nothing that would match like this magenta color. I would have to custom color them. Um, and yeah, other than <laughs> you trying to get in the frame. He's like, mom, don't forget me. Excuse the house mess in the back. Oh girl. Did I have that lipstick on my teeth the whole time? Yeah. Let me see yours. Check. Say check. You're good, mom. Give me a nose. Look here. Check. This is what we do every morning. Check. You're good, Mom. <laughs> but yeah, I did go ahead and dye this myself here at home. It was really easy. It was like $20. If that, if you guys care for me to do another video on how to go brown to red at home without using bleach, I'd be happy to do it. I'm just not going to include that whole process in today's video. <laughs> oh my God, the mess. The realness. Uh, because there's so many videos on YouTube like that and I don't want to like bore you guys. And I've dyed my hair before in the past and I believe I shared it on my channel so long ago, like literally two years ago. Um, but I like the color today. It's just the first day, but I know red is really hard with upkeep and like with the patchiness so we'll see so also something else really really exciting Christian and I have to tell you our family is growing a little because he's been wanting a pet and I don't want to get a dog until we get a house until we have a proper yard for a dog I feel bad confining a dog in like an apartment or a condo and we don't really have a yard here uh, but I want to teach Christian responsibility and he's really been wanting a pet so this morning after he was really good with me and went to Sally's we went to Petco and what'd we get? A fish! We got a fish! Tell him all about it! <laughs> You're so cute! Tell him all about our new fish! Um, my name What's his name? Um... Rico. Rico? We got this whole little like aquarium thing. We got the gravel. We got the plants inside. We did a whole, a whole little situation for Rico, and, huh? And tell him what kind of fish is it? Um, 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 okay. a, a beta fish. A beta a fish? A male beta fish. A male beta fish is blue. And he's blue. Is he pretty? Yeah. He's, he's so cute. I'm so but happy. But he doesn't swim very quick. He swims a little. He swims a little bit? Yeah. Not too fast? Yeah. Yeah. We actually took a clip this morning when we got home from Petco um, of like the tank and us like putting the plants and the gravel in there and Christian's first reaction of being super excited that he finally got a little fish. So I'm going to insert that clip right now. Hey guys, I got a new pet fishy. Is his name Nemo. You're, you're going to name him Nemo? Mm -hmm. I thought we talked in the car about naming him Junior. Remember Nemo's orange, babe? So he's called a veil tail, veil tail male, I guess. He's blue. He's super cute. Um, so we ended up just buying a few things at Petco that the lady there recommended. She was like a pro on all the fish. Let me angle this down a little bit for you guys. So we ended up getting this tank here. It comes with like two plants inside. And then she recommended that we get some gravel as well. This was super inexpensive. And then if you guys are, are going to get a fish, we've got one before and it actually died because I... I'm not sure why I didn't know this, but um, you've got to put these little drops in there. Aqua safe for betas. So I guess you just put 12 to 14 drops for every gallon of water. And then she gave us this beta food. So we're going to be filling up the tank with everything there. So let's all just, you know, pray that we don't kill this fish. <laughs>
Ready? Yeah. Gotta pour him in. Careful, 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 careful. <gasps> He's in! Welcome home. You don't live at the store anymore. Now you have a new family. Oh my gosh. Look here, Boop. Look here. Christian, look here. You literally just said now you have a new family? You're making me tear up. This is the first like pet we've had, guys. We haven't had a cat or a dog or anything, so Christian is like taking this real seriously. You're so sweet, babe. Now he has a new family, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna love him forever. Hey, Tony, I love you. <laughs> you love him already? Mm-hmm. You're so cute. All right, so we just ended up uh, passing by the P.O. box really quickly. I had to pick up a package with my glasses in it because I've had three pairs of these key high key sunglasses and these have been my absolute favorite they're the black fade I wore them in a few vlogs a while back and I kept getting questions on them and they're really comfortable I think these are like the oversized Desi ones so I finally went to pick these up I haven't had any other glasses except those Celine ones that I always wear but those are so heavy that whenever I wear them right here it takes off my makeup right here and there's like literally two full circles where it's like a totally different color because I have a spray tan right now so it always like wears off um, and I know you guys like those glasses too, but I feel bad recommending them because I always, you know, preach like everything else on a budget and my mom was so sweet. She surprised me with those for Christmas and some of you have been getting a little salty with me lately when you're like, oh, where are your glasses from? And I'm like, Celine. And you're like, bitch, you're supposed to be on a budget. But yeah, actually on that topic, I'm actually putting myself on an even stricter budget now because I don't know if I even mentioned it in a YouTube video, uh, but I talked about it a little bit on Snapchat. I'm not gonna like go too much into it on YouTube. I obviously don't want it to sound like a complaint since I am incredibly thankful for my job. Job, but I am trying to be so incredibly strict right now on any money that I spend because I owed a lot of money back, you know, to the good old feds when I did my taxes. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing my taxes this next upcoming year as a corporation and just doing everything so differently, but I owed a really good chunk of money back to for my taxes last week, which was Again, I'm trying to be grateful because I love being self-employed and that was just a part of the process for the way I did everything last year, but it was a lot of thousands of dollars like a good chunk of what I had saved up for a home um, So I am right now trying to like recoup all that money. Obviously, we still want to move This is going off on a tangent about <laughs> nothing about this video, but what I was saying is um yeah, you guys know I'm super forgetful. I've always talked about the fact that I've lost like three pairs of Beats uh, headphones in the gym. Haven't repurchased any of those just because I don't want to spend money. Uh, but these were my absolute favorite sunglasses. They were like 60 bucks, which I don't think is too pricey. The Celine ones were a few hundred, so I was really thankful that my mom copped those for me for Christmas. It was really sweet of her. Um, you okay? <laughs> Christian just sits there. He's like, Mom? when you are gonna stop rambling but yeah we went to the PO box oh I also got a notice in the mail that I have to pay even more because I went we went to our cousin's house what are you doing are you making fun of me we went to our cousin's house on Easter and we took the toll roads and this may sound like immature to you guys or like oh you should have known but I never have to drive on toll roads and how it used to be is like you pulled up and you paid and now you actually have to log online and pay within five days of driving on a toll road and I didn't log on and pay so the fee is like double so I'm just like, okay, like I need to get it together. So anywho, we just went through Starbucks. I got my um, Americano blended, which I know a lot of you always ask me about on Instagram and you screenshot and you tell me that your barista where you live won't make it like this. Uh, but if you ask, you know, multiple times, they will. And it's bomb and it's really macro friendly. All there is is a Americano shot and half and half in there. And then they blend it and it's real good and it gives me a lot of energy. So, hi, are you ready to go to the park? And uh, I'm gonna stop rambling. It's so weird to see myself in the viewfinder with this hair. Like the color took so bright up here, but it's so dark down here. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm liking it. All right, All right. let's go to the park. What do they got going on today? <laughs> What's on the menu today? Oh, we got a little bit there. Have you been there before, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have everything. Yeah, we got. But normally we have it like during dinner time, like at the peak, like four. But in the morning, but in the, yeah, there you go, that's a good girl. And in the morning, um, oh, no, after, oh, that's 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 that's
uh, and I believe we were gonna go to like the outdoor park to play. We ended up not doing that. We wanted to go to the trampoline park because he goes there all the time, he loves it. So we went there last night and we were playing around for like an hour and a half and we were playing dodgeball. And I grabbed one of the balls to throw on the other side. There's like two trampolines and I fell and I, I like fell over my left leg and I felt immediately that my ankle like twisted and I fell down and I was like, oh my God, that hurt, like what the hell? And I went over to the side and I took a break and I stopped and I just, I sat out the rest of the night. Um, Christian was there with some friends and I wanted him to still enjoy the night and like play on the trampoline park and I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll just need to ice it when I'm home. I'm like, that's it, it'll be fine. So I go and sit on the sidelines, let Christian play with his friends, and then as the night goes on, we were there maybe another hour, the pain started to get really, really bad. And I was like, crap, like I think something's really wrong. I felt like I broke something. I don't know if you can like break your ankle, but I know you can definitely sprain it and twist it. And I was like, we gotta go. So I like limped out of there, got back in the car, got home, put tons of ice like all around my ankle and foot area and elevated it. And I did that for like an hour and a half. At this point, the pain was really, really bad. And I wanted to actually go to the ER last night, but I had no help with Christian. My mom and dad were, or my mom was out and my dad lives over an hour away. So I was like, you know what, I just, Christian was really tired. I was like, he's gotta go to bed. I need to get some sleep. Let me just go to bed. And I was hoping and praying and you know, I was like manifesting in my mind, imagining myself waking up, everything being fine, it feeling super healthy, like no pain. So I go to bed. I wake up this morning, you guys. <laughs> this is why my face looks like this because I've been like a hysterical mess all morning. I wake up this morning and I take both my feet around my bed to put on the floor to get out of bed. And I put my feet on the floor, try to get up, and I fall to the ground. I am like hysterically crying at how bad the pain is in my left foot. I immediately like grab my phone up on the nightstand, I'm like hobbling over and call my mom. And I'm like, mom, I think I broke my foot. Like, I don't know if that's a thing, breaking your whole foot. I'm like, I think I broke my foot. Um, she can't even understand what I'm saying. I'm like sobbing. So she comes over uh, and she actually, she had to work today, but she took me to the ER on her way. So we were in the ER like all morning. I have all this stuff. So. I'll show you guys my foot here in a minute. I'm sorry I'm not inside in the beauty room sitting up anywhere. I have, um, can you guys see in there? I have crutches. I can't even move right now. I'm gonna have to like hobble myself or like get up. Um, so yeah, basically uh, they ended up taking two x-rays today at the ER. They didn't do, they don't do MRIs at this one, I guess for whatever reason, but she told me to follow up with my doctor um, this next upcoming week. So yeah, based on the x-rays they took this morning at the ER, she said I tore three ligaments inside my foot and I'll show you guys my right now my foot is all like swollen up and that I sprained my ankle she didn't say that I broke any bones in my foot um and it, I I could swear though walking into the ER that I had broke it that's how bad it was I'm like hysterically crying can barely like walk um uh, but yeah, so she said for it being fractured and they gave me like a wrap to put on it I couldn't even have her put the wrap on it as I was in the ER because my foot has been in so much pain If you just even touch it like this, I will start bawling like it's horrible I never knew like foot or ankle pain could be this bad. Yeah at this specific moment the only reason I'm like even calm enough like I was waiting I was gonna like pull out the camera and try to like vlog for you guys earlier but you guys I've been so in so much physical pain this morning more than I've ever felt I think even having Christian setting my foot on the floor and not being able to walk and collapsing down is like a pain I cannot I just can't I can't explain it I can't believe this happened to me I literally just took Christian out last night to go and play and have fun at the trampoline park it's like Friday night I'm trying to take my kid out to have some fun and I don't know now how long I'm gonna be down for. Um, I have this wrap that they want me to like wrap up my ankle with and they gave me Norco for the pain but I only have a prescription for that for three days so I'm hoping the pain and the swelling and everything goes down. Um, but I can't walk, like I physically can't walk. I don't, my parents both work, I don't really have any help with Christian. I don't even know how I'm gonna like drive him to school this ex next upcoming week. Forget about even working out or anything like that. Um, like, yeah, I just, I can't walk. I'm like walking on one foot right now, one leg. And I have the crutches they gave me at the hospital this morning. So I will go ahead and have to use those the next few days. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just come on and let you guys know because I made a quick little Snapchat about it this morning and I know a lot of you are worried. I'm not like dying or anything, but it is really, really, really bad. And I would have never expected at the trampoline park to just fall and twist it like that and something like this serious to happen. Um, it just sucks because obviously I have Christian by myself and I even getting up the stairs or like walking him to the park or anything I physically can't move right now without crutches like that's how bad it is But yeah, I'm just really upset and I've just been in a lot of physical pain this morning and 
I feel like I'm all like cried out and my face is all puffy just because I've been so like emotional all morning. My mom was really sweet and came over and um, helped drive me to the ER and I couldn't even like get in her car. It was so bad. And when she shut the door, it accidentally hit my foot a little bit and I just like broke down. It's been a really long time since I've like injured myself or, you know, like nothing ever like goes wrong with me. I feel like I'm always healthy, but this changes everything with my fitness. You guys know I'm on my cut. I, I don't even, I can't even work out. Like I'll show you guys when we end the video, we'll like hop back in here. I can't walk like, ugh. and I've been doing so excellent on my cut. Even if I were to just train like upper body, I, I can't really walk at all. I need crutches right now. So I don't know. I feel like this changes my whole plan. Ugh. And I don't want to be like pessimistic in any way or anything like obviously you got to see the good in things As I was leaving the ER another lady was walking in who could barely breathe and she was like in much much worse condition And I just took a moment and I I know I need to be grateful and positive that It could always be so much worse and I still have Christian and my health and everything and it's not that bad, but My foot has been in so much physical pain the past few hours you guys I feel like my entire left foot is broken. That's how bad it is. But yeah but yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come on and update you guys. Um, I did post a little something on my snap this morning just because I was like bored in the hospital and I uh, got a bunch of messages that you guys were just praying for me and you didn't really know what happened, but you were keeping me in your thoughts. So I can't say how much that means. Thank you so much. I have no clue what I'm going to do this upcoming week for my shred videos or anything. Like literally don't even think I can work out, which is what makes me so frustrated. But I do have a video coming on Monday, the one that I've been so excited for that Brian filmed for me. It's cinematic. It's like a movie. It's everything I've been wanting. So that will be my very next video up. So be sure you're subscribed and you have the notification bell on because that's coming. What's today? I think I'm going to upload this today, Saturday. So that's coming on Monday. I can't wait for it. We already filmed that last week. And then, um, I don't know. I don't even know what to tell you guys about what videos are coming next after that. Um, but follow me on social media if you want like daily updates and stay tuned for Monday's video. I'm so excited for it. And I just appreciate you guys and I love you guys and I'm just glad that I have Christian and I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the positive side but I'm really upset right now so I don't know. I love you guys. Hope you have a good rest of the weekend.